if you plan to make the jump from shared hosting to a BPS and you want to install WordPress sites on a BPS, well, I recommend that you check out Flying WP. Now, in this case, I'm going to show you how to install your hosting or BPS on Fly WP. So let's get started. What's up, SaaS Masters? I'm going to show you how to install your hosting or BPS on Fly WP, which is a BPS manager specifically made for WordPress sites. Okay. Now, before we get started, I want to show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. And there's an extra discount coupon code that you want to check out if you want to grab a shared hosting plan or a BPS. In this case, I'm going to show you a BPS. Link will be provided in the description. Now go into the hosting option, go to BPS hosting, and down here, you're going to find your BPS plans. Now select the one that's according to your needs. In this case, I'm going to show you this one, which is the most popular one. I'm going to add it to cart. And once you're here, you select the amount of months that you want to pay in advance. You lock in the lowest price, the lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 24 months. So no paying every single year. Okay. Now, once you're down here, the total is $191. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, go ahead and apply it. And the price is going to drop to $172. So don't forget to use the coupon code. Now, let's get started with the installation process of the Hostinger BPS. Now, once you purchase the Hostinger BPS, you're going to have it right here in your main panel. Scroll all the way down here and you'll find your BPS. In this case, I'm going to install this one. So let's go ahead and manage and be aware that you need to install Ubuntu 22.04. If you made the mistake of installing the wrong OS, go ahead and go into OS and panel operating system, select plain OS, search for Ubuntu and select 2204. Okay. Go ahead and change the OS from here. It's super easy. Okay. So let's go into fly WP and in fly WP, we're going to create a new server and we're going to select custom and in custom, we're going to add the IP address from our BPS from Hostinger. So let's go ahead and select it. Let's go ahead and copy this and add it over here. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. In this case, I'll leave it as it is. Let's go ahead and create the server. And we're going to need this code. Now it's kind of different the process for installing a BPS on flight WP, but it's super easy. Don't worry. It's going to be straightforward. And if you follow this video, you won't get lost. Okay. So let's go into Hostinger and we're going to open up the terminal. Okay. Now, be aware that if you forget your root password, go ahead and change it from here. So let's go into terminal and this is going to open up terminal where we're going to log in to our credentials. Now, the credential is root in this case. I'm going to hit enter and it's, it's going to ask for our password. This is the BPS from Hostinger's password. If you forget it, go ahead and reset it. Let me type in my password. Click enter and boom, we are now in and the next piece of, of thing that we're going to need. And boom, we are now in. Now, the next thing we need is the code that FlyWP provides us. So let's go into FlyWP. Let's grab this code. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go back to terminal. And we're going to need to open up this menu here on the left. See this here? And we're going to click on the clipboard. In this case, we're going to paste in the code here. We, we click OK and it's going to add it here. Okay, let's close this menu from the terminal. Let's click down here at the end. Okay, and we're going to hit enter and the installation should begin. There we go. It just started. Let's go into fly WP. Let's go ahead and close this and you can see it's now starting. It established a connection to the server. Preditioning has been started. Configuration swap space and it's going to start upgrading the installed packages, install the Docker, creating and configuring fly WP user, etc. Everything is going to be done automatically. I'll be here on terminal. You're going to see when it's finished. Once it's finished, you can get, go ahead and close terminal and the rest is going to be done on fly WP. Once it's done, you're going to be ready to start adding WordPress sites. If you haven't seen a video that I've created previously for fly WP on how to install these sites, the link we provided in the description also. And that's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to use the coupon code provided in the description and I'll see you later.